Cedar Bio Vertical Lift Bridge consists of an 853 foot long bridge with two 150 foot towers, one on each side. This metal plaque is still attached to the structure today and shows the bridge was fabricated in 1912 at the Virginia Bridge and Iron Company in Roanoke, Virginia. Sadly, the bridge will soon be removed to make way for an 8.7 mile portion of the Grand Parkway. This legal document shows that the bridge was not installed over the St. Francis River in Cody, Arkansas until 1923. It was fabricated in 1912, but remained idle and unused for 11 years. Here we see two great photos from 1923. It shows the interior and exterior of the steel foundry that created the bridge. This recent aerial shot is where the bridge was first located in Arkansas. You can still see the original concrete footings in the middle of the St. Francis River. In 1966, the Missouri Pacific Railroad needed the bridge over Cedar Bayou for the new U.S. Steel's rail traffic. In 1967, the bridge over the St. Francis River in Arkansas was no longer needed as that rail line was discontinued. So, instead of building a costly new one, that bridge was disassembled, transported, then reassembled over Cedar Bayou here in Baytown. I really like these next three photos from early 1967. They show a barge with most of the bridge parts being pushed by a tugboat trying to navigate the narrow opening of the Cedar Bayou Bascule Bridge on Tri-City Beach Road. It took four attempts before they were successful. Obviously, it arrived at its destination intact. These next two photos from 1967 show the preparation of the east and west banks and the final raising of the lift span section. Yes, sir, even Mr. Raccoon wants to be a movie star. To travel to Texas from Arkansas, the bridge took an 830 mile journey down the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico through the intercoastal waterways to its final home, spanning Cedar Bayou. From the drone's perspective, you can see graffiti from a local artist that reads, Who are you when nobody is watching? I love it.
This is a fine example of why this specific type of lift bridge was needed. To my knowledge, at 107 years, the Cedar Bio Vertical Lift Bridge is the oldest and largest metal structure to still be standing in our area. Most of this footage was taken on Memorial Day weekend. The American flags are proudly displayed for that reason. Peter and I have had an absolute blast presenting to you, the good people of Baytown, local history in a new and exciting way. This is the first of many projects to come. See you next time, folks.